Do you know what that is? Better yet, do you know what it has to do with baptism? Well, if you want to know, stay tuned and find the answer on our next episode of Your Questions Answered. <music>
and Greek philosophy and ideology and pagan concepts. And so rather than getting the truth, there was a strange concoction of truth mixed with error. And that prevailed in the church for over a thousand years. And so, uh, in fact, even to this day, we're affected by that. And you say, well, how, how do you know? Well, simple. You open your phone book in the yellow pages, and uh, that's another thing that's almost outdated in these days, and you look up churches, and you'll find that there are uh, hundreds or thousands of Christian churches, depending on the size of your town, all claiming to believe the same Bible, but having a variety of different teachings. That's an outgrowth of that apostasy that Paul foretold. And the reason that, or the way that that connects with our, our example here with the 8-track is that, as I mentioned, some of you, that you look at the 8-track tape, and as soon as I held it up, you said, ah, I haven't seen one of those in years. That's an 8-track. You knew what it was. You could spot it right away. For some of you, you would never have known what it was without an explanation. The reality is that when the Philippian jailer and the Ethiopian eunuch heard Paul preaching Christ, he was the Christ of Judaism. They'd heard of Judaism. They understood what Judaism... That was that, that was that monotheistic religion from those people, the Jews. And they knew right away what it was. They saw it, just like the 8-track. They spotted it. And immediately they knew what it was. They didn't need a lengthy series of studies because it was clear that, that the tenets of that faith were clear to them. But today, you know, some of you, you looked at the 8-track the and you said, I have no clue what that is. I've never seen like anything like that, just like my son. I've never seen anything like that in my life. You needed explanation for what it was. Well, the reality is in Christianity today, it's not so easy just to spot it anymore because it's not so cut and dried as it was back in Jesus' day, back in the Apostles' day. Because of the thousand years plus of apostasy and the multiple denominations, thousands of denominations all following, uh, claiming to follow one Bible, there's need of teaching. In fact, Jesus himself in his commission to his church said, go teach all nations, baptizing them. So there's a teaching that according to Jesus, needs to happen before baptism, especially in our day where there's more confusion because of the added confusion, because of the added uh, confusion, because of the lack of, of biblical uh, integrity and knowledge today among many Christians. There's a necessity for more thorough training and teaching. And honestly, who wouldn't want to know more clearly the reason for the commitment they're about to make to Jesus uh, than to go into something blindly. And so I believe today uh, many churches rightfully spend more time educating somebody in their commitment to baptism so that when they are baptized they can be fully committed to Jesus, to his truth, and to his cause. Well, I hope that answer was helpful and uh, I hope you stay tuned. Next time we're going to cover another great question uh, here on Your Questions Answered. God bless.